I wanted to quickly share news of some different 3D AI tools out there that you perhaps haven't heard of, haven't had time to explore yourself, and I'm yet to cover in any of my deep dive AI animation tutorials. Also at the end, I'll give a little sneak peek of what I've been up to myself, building some AI tools of my own. And that's one of the reasons why I've not been posting videos over the past four, five months. Before I dive into that, I've just finished this video that I published a couple of days ago now, where I used Meshi AI to create 3D models, retexture them, fix textures, add some animation, bring it into Blender, bring it into After Effects, add some lip syncing using another AI tool, create this short film. If you're interested in 3D AI animation, and if you haven't already, please check that one out. Okay, let's jump into some of the latest 3D AI tools I've come across over the past few weeks. Here we go. We've got Hyperhuman, and they've got a couple of tools plus some other things they've shared via X. First up, there's Rodan, which is a 3D model creator where you can put in a text prompt and it will generate different models and something to rival the likes of CSM, Meshi AI, and others. I haven't yet to fully check it out, but uh, yeah, the results look pretty cool and it'll be interesting to see if it has better topology than some of the other options out there. And as well as that, they have Chat Avatar, where you can actually create these metahuman style faces and they can be rigged and you can download. So these are some of their pre-made ones and you can either drop in an image or generate via text. So if I put in old wise fisherman, press generate. And it will then ask you some questions to help refine the text prompt. It's got it up here initially. So I can just say he's in his late 50s with weathered skin and a salt and pepper beard. Press send. So it's pretty cool that you can chat with the AI and it'll improve your overall prompt. Let's add he has piercing blue eyes and a strong jawline. And again, it's improved the prompt and I can press generate. And then after a minute, you're presented with your 3D face and you can rotate around it. Seriously impressive mesh and it aligns very well with the text prompt. And you can go up to download, choose your resolution, press next, and you'll see it's gonna use some of your credits and you get some credits for free when you first sign up. Press next, and you can choose to download their default model, MetaHuman, or a DAS 3D. If you're familiar with either of these, MetaHuman is very cool. I'm gonna choose the default, press next, and it gives you some extra options so you can add a rigged body. You can choose male, you can add eyes and teeth, expression blend shapes and back of head textures and press pay and it turned out I was actually out of credits and I'm not going to buy any right now but this is a model I had earlier when I was doing a quick test um, so I downloaded this one but I didn't enable the back of head but once it's finished packaging up your model you can go ahead and press the download button again and you can then download the full package and then since I'm using blender you can go down to the plugin section here choose blender and grab the latest version of the tool you can then download the zip file and follow the instructions here to install it via your preferences in Blender. And then in Blender with a brand new scene, I can delete the cube, press file, import, choose chat avatar package, press import and choose the downloaded zip file of our character. And then choose the resolution, topology and which parts of the rig you want to import and press confirm. If you're not already set up to use the cycles render engine, it will prompt you to change to that. So you can press yes. And we have our character in the scene with this default human rig. Turn off the character rig. We can change to the texture mode up here and see the texture applied. Jump back to this mode just to speed up my rendering. And you can move to the data section down here. Go down to shape keys, click on any of these, brow down left and animate the rig using these and you could set keyframes. And I'm sure if I looked into this more, you could tie it in with some pre-made character animation motion capture to drive the changes to that facial rig. And they've also shown that you'd be able to use media to face with chat avatar to add this cool 3D animation to characters, which looks really seriously impressive. Plus another tool called dress code, which allows you to add clothing to your characters that drapes and moves in a realistic fashion. Again, tying very nicely in with their other AI 3D offerings. And there's another tool called Tripo3D.ai, which again enables you to create 3D models using text prompts and images. And they've got a cool promo video on their front page. And you can log in for free and you'll see various past generations, which you can click and check out the models. One very cute rabbit. And you can write out a cool text prompt here. So if I write lawn gnome dressed as a peaky blinder, and it actually brings up past generations which align fairly closely with that prompt showing lots of different gnomes but i can press create and it gives us four different options so for this guy here press refine 
I can go up to my models. And then after a small wait, we have our character here. I can click on them and it brings up our model who looks very cool, nice textures applied. And I assume if they were in a T pose, we could then pay to have them rigged and use some of their pre-made animations and you can use different styles and things like that. So an interesting platform that I'll definitely try and check out perhaps in the future. And there's also tools coming out from CG Trader as well as Turbo Squid. CG Trader have just launched CG Dream where you can generate AI images as well as create 3D models, which again are looking very good. And you can head over to Turbo Squid, the other leading stock 3D asset website, and go to their AI 3D generator tab where they're collaborating with Nvidia and Shutterstock by the looks of it, and you can join the waitlist so you have early access when they finally release what it is they're creating. Another interesting tool that I've looked at in the past is from Rapport, where you can actually drive character facial animation using their system, and it's another way of applying it to a 3D character, so again, could tie in nicely with some of the other things we've seen here. And you can actually create your own custom avatar using Ready Player Me, which has been around for a while now. But you can actually set them up as a chatbot, as an animated avatar, which can use an LLM like ChatGPT or another one to help drive the responses and things like that. So a really cool way of creating a 3D animation. And I would have thought there's probably ways that you could then tie it in with your own custom character completely, maybe using some of our earlier tools to create a unique animation. Okay, and one more tool. There's something called Say Motion, which comes from Deep Motion, one of the leaders in machine learning, AI driven motion capture, where you can put in a 2D video to create motion capture. But they now have Say Motion, where you can type in a text prompt to generate animation in your characters. And it's something that I'm hoping to do a proper deep dive into in a video fairly soon. But it's something worth checking out if you're looking for cool ways to create unique animation to apply to any generated characters or any existing 3D characters. Okay, and lastly, this is what I've been working on behind the scenes for quite a few months now, uh, from when I first started generating an After Effects plugin that enables AI image generation and some animation controls directly within Adobe After Effects. And I've now built out a fuller website, which is not yet live. There's still lots of testing and things to sort out, but all the back ends built and I'm just refining lots of the front end controls and various implementations. But you can register for an account, log in, and you're brought through to the portal and there's going to be a dashboard here where you can check out past image animation generations, purchase credits, and all of that stuff that you see across other AI tools. Hopefully, I'm going to be building out tools that are more useful and tailored towards professional animations, trying to work on the tools that I think I would want as an animator that my team at the, my own animation studio would want to be using. Um, and yeah, just trying to build out something very, very useful and trying to do it on an absolute tiny budget in as much spare time as I can muster. If anybody has a million pounds and wants to help fund it, give me a shout. But yeah, once you're logged in, you can go to the image gallery, check out your past generations, change the viewing mode, load more images, and you can click on these to see how they turn out. And you can reuse prompts, upscale, convert to videos, things like that. And you can flip through past generations. And then you can go down to the bottom and add a text prompt, giving it a positive prompt and a negative one if you like, and you can change the aspect ratio. So I can write out Lawn Gnome dressed as a PQ Blinder, change the aspect ratio, and press Generate. And we can produce some more at a different aspect ratio. Let's go 16 by 9 and a couple of square. And they all look pretty cool. So yeah, it's slowly coming together. Lots of things I want to add, building timelines, integrate it with other professional animation software, allowing new AI enhanced animation processes to improve and enhance production processes whilst keeping a creative in the mix as I build in other tools so you can control the output. And whilst you can't try that out yet, you can head over to AIanimation.com, scroll down and you can go to the Stablemate section here, which is kind of the working title and press find out more. And again, spin down and you can join the wait list here. So I'll email you and let you know when the first version is out and potentially when I do a shout out for some early beta testers or beta testers depending on where you are in the world and there we go thanks very much for watching as always please press subscribe like and leave any comments let me know if you've seen any other cool 3d tools out there if any of these jump out that you're excited to use um, and i'll see you in the next one have a nice day cheers